In this video, I'll break down how to use my really cool Pro Mist Filter effect, which is included in the Ultimate Bundle, which is for sale on my website, WinkinsMedia.com. In this video, I'll break down how to install the Ultimate Bundle, and then how to actually use this really cool Pro Mist Filter effect included in the bundle. Now, once you purchase the Ultimate Bundle, you simply want to download the file, and you want to make sure you unzip um, the actual file to get the Ultimate Bundle folder. Now, what you want to do is head over here to Go, go over here to Home, and then go over here to double click on movies and then what you want to do is you want to go to motion templates and you want to drag the entire folder into your effects folder and if I open it right here as you can see the ultimate bundle if I open up the ultimate bundle you will see the um, pro mist filter effect as you can see pro mist filter effect so simply drag the entire folder into the effects folder in your motion template folder now we're going to be applying the pro mist filter effect to this clip right here and this is just a clip from the timeless music video by the weekend now you want to be very specific in the clips you used with this effect you want it to pick clips that have some sort of light source so as you can see there's a light source right Right here, the little bit of light right here, a little bit of light right here. You want to again apply, use this effect on a, some sort of clip with a, with a light source. So there's not really any like light source. This effect really isn't going to work that well. So what you want to do is head over here to the effects panel, and you want to find the category the ultimate bundle. So you're basically just going to keep scrolling down until you find the category the ultimate bundle. Now once you're on the ultimate bundle, as you can see, we can scroll through and here are all the effects that are included in this bundle. But in this example, we're going to be using the Pro Mist filter effect so simply apply the effect onto the clip and as you can see as you see nothing really happens in this clip that's because we have to adjust the threshold slider so see if we drag down the threshold slider as you can see now you're adding this really nice bloom to your highlights so you see the lower you go the more bloom you get and the higher you go the less bloom you get so you go through and kind of just adjust and say maybe this looks really good so we'll leave it at this now you can go through and adjust the smoothness so in, you also adjust like the mid the amount, the horizontal. So if we take the amount, we increase it, you can see there's more bloom um, applied to the highlights. And there you go, it's literally just as simple as that. So we'll go ahead and let's just zoom in a little bit just to kind of give you a better example. So you can see, see this really nice bloom around the weekend because it's using this light source. So if we disable the Pro Mist filter, here's before and then here is after. You just see it adds this really nice haze effect also up here before, after. And there you go, as you see, it adds these really cool blooms, you know, really nice bloom to the highlights. Now again, you need to find a clip with a light source. If there was no light source in this clip, or there's no like really highlights in the clip, it, it's not really gonna work. This effect only like affects the highlights, so basically like the brightest parts of the clip. So it's only again gonna work on certain clips, but when it does, it's a really cool effect. Anyways, that's how to use my Pro Mist Filter effect from the Ultimate Bundle, again it is for or say on my website winkinsmedia.com the link is down in the description below hopefully you enjoy this video if you did and you want to watch more of these make sure to go and hit that subscribe button anyways i'll see you in the next one peace